Before we start this video, I would request you all to support my channel Adam's Tech Guide by clicking on this red subscribe button right below this video. Once you guys click on this red subscribe button, you will see this bell notification icon right next to it. Please make sure you click on this bell notification icon and click on this all in order to get the notifications and the updates for my future videos. And last but not least, if you guys like my videos, please click on this thumbs up button to show me your love. Hey guys, Shabazz here from Adam's Tech Guide. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while I was away from YouTube. Um, almost like three three and a half years i have not made a single video a single tutorial video i have uploaded one or two videos in between which was a very short video um i tried giving updates to you all but um you know i have not made a proper video in between these three years so i was away from youtube because i was occupied with few of my family work as well as there were few of the projects which i was working on that's why I was away from YouTube, um, was not getting time to make videos. So yeah, um, I apologize for being away. Yeah, I am, but I'm gonna start. I'm gonna give it a fresh start. This is going to be a fresh start for my channel. Uh, there are a few videos which are going to come there. Uh, not few, there are a lot of videos which are going to come in future, which will be a little bit different compared to our previous videos. First of all, one update, we're gonna stop making videos on Hackintosh since the support for Hackintosh are getting minimal. So we are not gonna follow the same genre. We're gonna start working on something different, something more, um, you know, reasonable, which will provide us, uh, you know, a lot of other options to go for, which will provide us a lot of support. So yeah, um, we're gonna work on a lot of things. There are lots of things in the pipeline coming in future. Please do stay tuned on my channel. Please do subscribe to my channel, Adam's Tech Guide. Do not forget to click on the bell icon right next to the subscribe button because there are lots of useful tips videos coming in the future. So in today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a portable Windows operating system device, like say a, a portable Windows operating system, which we can carry into our pocket, um, you know, kind of having the entire Windows operating system in this uh, memory card or else in this flash drive. So we don't need hard drive for our computer. We just we can just plug this uh, flash drive or else plug this uh, memory card in our computer without any hard drive, without any storage. We can use Windows operating system. We can run Windows operating system directly from this memory card or this flash drive whatever the storage you guys may be using you guys can use this flash drive as well you know this will be a, a reasonable option to go for else you guys can also use this minimum capacity of um, memory card so this is the minimum capacity what you guys can use that's why i am giving you the example of 16 gb memory card we'll do the os installation on this and we will run windows operating system from this 16 gb flash drive first i'll show you how much um, time will this take to load windows uh, in our machine and we will then go for this flash drive which is i i think this is for 250 yeah this is 250 gb flash drive both of these supports usb 3.0 since we are using a card reader which uh, which supports usb 3.0 and this you know this memory card has uh, you know class 10 sign on it that means it is high speed memory card altogether so i can consider both of them as uh, a usb 3.0 and we already have a flash drive which is usb 3.0 supported so uh, we will first go with our memory card we will uh, make so this process is known as Windows ready to go. So it, it's gonna be Windows ready to go on this memory card first and uh, then it's gonna be Windows ready to go on this flash drive for the second time. So yeah, we'll first go with the process for our memory card. We're gonna switch the screen to my computer like we'll gonna switch the screen to my desktop and I will let you know how to make a Windows ready to go memory card first we will be using our very good old Reefus software to make windows ready to go um you know for both of the devices so for the memory card for the flash drive both this is not a process of 
creating a bootable flash drive for Windows operating system. So first thing I would like to clear here, we are not going to create a Windows bootable flash drive. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to install the entire Windows operating system into these storage devices. So you can consider these as a hard drives on which you will be installing the Windows operating system. So this is going to be my hard drive wherein I'll be installing Windows into and I will be directly booting Windows from this hard drive. Same goes for this one. Um, the Windows will be installed into this uh, flash drive and I'll be directly booting Windows from this flash drive. So I don't need to have uh, a hard drive connected to my computer. I just need this as a portable hard drive. I can connect this and boot my Windows operating system from it and I'll start working on it. That's that's the thing. I mean, it's that's how simple it is. So the second thing which I would like to clear is the initial boot. So if you are connecting this storage devices to a fresh computer, it will take some time to initialize. The initial process will um, take some time. It will, it, again, it will create the entire registry how the startup happens. So you guys might be knowing if you if you have installed Windows on a hard drive, it takes some time to um, create a registry uh, to get the devices ready. So it will take some time. The initial start startup will take some time. So once the startup happens, if you have done the startup on a computer, the next boot will happen normal. It will not take that longer. You guys will need a minimum of uh, you know 64 GB or 128 GB of flash drive for this process It will even work on 16 GB or 32 GB. I'm able to use Windows operating system with both of them in this I am not able to install any drivers since uh, after installation there is no storage space left in this uh, uh, You know in this in this flash drive to run any driver so it eats almost like 35 to 36 GB of your storage uh, capacity so the minimum requirement for this thing is 64 GB if you want to run Windows full-fledged along with all the drivers and additional things if you want to go for uh, do go for 64 GB or else 128 GB but it will also work on both of these if you guys just want to try and see the demo you guys can work with 16 gb as well as 32 gb both so without wasting any further ado let's jump into my computer screen and start the video So let's start the video. We are here on our computer's desktop screen. What you guys will need is a Windows 10 operating system image file and the latest version of Rufus. Uh, you know, it's this is a software which uh, helps us to write uh, and make a bootable flash drive for Windows operating system. So uh, the software name is Rufus. I'm gonna share the link in the description. You guys can click on the link and download uh, the latest version of Rufus. So I'm gonna be starting from the scratch. I'll connect my memory card to my computer and uh, let the pop-up come on the screen. Just give me a minute guys, I'll connect the memory card to my computer. Yep. So as you guys can see, I already have Windows 10 operating system onto this uh, memory card. So I'm going to close this window. I will format this memory card. Uh, this is going to be quick format. Uh, yeah. Just go to Rufus, right click on it, click on run as an administrator. Oh no. I'm going to click on no. And here we are. We have the window opened for Rufus. First off, we're going to have to select the image file. If you guys are trying this for Windows 7, it will not give you option to uh, select uh, ready to go. Um, so I'm going to select Windows 10 since this is my desktop screen. I'm going to select Windows 10 image file. I'll click on open. In image option, I'm going to have to select Windows to go. Click on this drop down and select Windows to go. Keep this as GBD, do not go for MBR. Okay, if you guys have older boards, you can select MBR since uh, the older motherboards do not have uh, the uh, UEFI supported uh, chipset. I'm keeping this as it is. Uh, since I have not selected MBR, I'm gonna keep this as it is. Uh, this is the name of uh, the, uh, you know, the storage. 
<laughs> it's gonna give this name you can also change this name but uh, as my ISO image file gives this name so I'm gonna keep it as it is uh, keep the partition NTFS if you guys are using the older board if you guys have selected MBR here you guys will get the option to go for the FAT32 as well and I'll click on start this will create a, uh, a local account username Adam's Tech Guide onto my memory card. Uh, just keep this these two options unchecked and go for OK. All right, now I'm going to go for OK here. All data will be deleted. Yes, OK. Now, now it will start the process. It will take some time again, depending upon your computer speed and uh, your memory card speed, the storage which you've connected to your computer, depending upon both of them, uh, it will take some time. So I'm gonna pause the video right here. I'll be back once this process gets completed 200% and we will proceed the video from there. So guys, as we have done creating a ready to go Windows flash drive, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the flash drive to a computer, restart a computer, jump into the boot the uh, boot drive selection option we'll select the flash drive and see if we are able to boot from it so let's do a restart of our computer i'll restart my machine i'll go for this option which says uefi mass storage device uh, i'll select enter As you guys can see, we have uh, our Adam's Tech Guide local account by default created. Now I'm going to restart the machine and I'll show you all how much time it takes to uh, you know, get into the operating system. So we'll restart the computer and we're going to boot from our memory card. So this was the issue. It is connected to the internet. That's why it is taking the updates from internet. That's why it took a while for the entire system to start up like the desktop screen was already there but we were not able to use few features because uh, it was downloading few things from the background 11 yeah now let's see now how much time it will take to go into the login screen so this is going to be the first second from now So it all depends upon the memory being cached into a uh, into a storage device which you are using to boot your Windows from. So this is like 16 gigs of uh, a memory card which is running Windows. I will certainly do the same process, do, do the same procedure with my flash drive and we'll see uh, if that is taking the similar time, a similar amount of time or not. So this time it has booted fast this time it is it has booted a little bit faster um, uh, almost like 13 or 14 seconds we are on the login screen I'll click OK uh, it's asking me to enter a password so I want to click sign in the user password must be changed before signing in okay uh, it's asking me for a password yeah so long story short this is the, this is it uh, I will do one thing I'll, I'll, I'll just uninstall the drives from my computer and we'll see without drive if it is if, if the uh, process is making difference so yeah I'm gonna remove everything from my computer and we'll directly boot from the flash drive altogether now we've uninstalled every hard drive from our computer now we don't have any drives connected to our computer let me show you that so you guys can you guys can see we don't have anything uh, any drive connected to our computer 
we just have the mass storage that is our memory card this is the windows boot manager which is already created into um, our memory card and this is a uefi partition into a memory card so we don't have any drives connected to our computer and uh, you know let's let's control all delete Let's see how things work. Uh, yeah, it has not loaded the graphics driver as you guys can see. It's it, it is giving us a lag, but it will take some time to install a graphics driver. Once the graphics driver gets installed into the machine, it will work fine. I'll go to this PC. As you guys can see, we just have our uh, flash drive, which has already used each and every space. Okay, we just have. 766 KB as a free um, partition. All right, guys. So we, what we've done is we've used a memory card of 256 GB. We have uh, made a Windows ready to go in it, and this is a Windows ready to go memory card which we will be using for this process. Since uh, the earlier process did not work properly because of the storage space. Now this has got enough space already, so we're gonna connect this to our computer and we will boot from this memory card and uh, we'll see how it works. So as you guys can see, it, my uh, memory card is connected to my computer and I'm gonna just first restart my computer for the first time. As you guys can see, we don't have any hard drives connected to our computer. We just have this uh, uh, 256 uh, gigs of uh, memory card which is connected to our computer and we have enough of the space here to work on this time. Uh, I'm going to close this for now and I will go to my uh, motherboard website. Uh, I'll click on resources and I'll search for the graphics driver for Windows 10. Uh, I'm going to go for Microsoft here. I'll select Windows 10. Um, uh, let's go for Intel graphics and uh, I'll click on submit. Guys, this computer is working really good on memory card though. Uh, you know, the response is really, really, really fast. When I'm using the SSD, I get the same performance as I'm getting in the memory card and it's really working fast, I can say. Yeah, let's restart the computer now and see now. Okay, so one, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Again. So basically it, it will take around 12 seconds to come to 12 to 13 seconds to come to the desktop screen. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my today's video. Please feel free to write down your questions in the comments box. I will definitely reply back to the comments. Do subscribe to my channel, Adam's Tech Guide. Also do not forget to click on the bell icon which is next to the subscribe button. If you do that, you guys will get the notification for the latest video which I'm uploading to my channel. There are lots of useful videos which are going to come on my channel. Please do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned on my channel. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching my today's video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.